September 18th, 2022. A date that will go down in video game infamy. A user on GTA forums posted 50 minutes of early development gameplay footage of what appeared to be Grand Theft Auto 6. The first time I saw it, I thought immediately, oh, this is definitely fake. After all, it's been years of constant fake Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks as it's one of the largest franchises in the world and one of the largest developers in the world. And then Rockstar announced to the world that the leak was, in fact, real. The user, who goes by the username Teapot Uber Hacker, also claimed responsibility for the Uber hack last week. The gameplay spread across the internet like wildfire, garnering hundreds of thousands of impressions on Twitter. And what does this mean for Rockstar? Well, by now we all know that this turned out to be the real footage of the Grand Theft Auto 6 Alpha. With a tweet posted on September 19th, Rockstar confirmed that the leak was in fact real. Here's the statement that they posted on Twitter. A message from Rockstar Games, we recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations. We will update everyone again soon, and of course, we'll properly introduce you to the game when it is ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation, the Rockstar Games team. This tweet is currently sitting at 1 million likes. The leak provoked several different reactions from users. Many criticized the gameplay, saying that the graphics looked the same as GTA V or that the driving mechanics looked awful. Some even complained that the debug strings across the screen would be ugly, but of course they're not going to be included in the final game. A lot of others praised the dev team for the work they're putting into the title, saying that the final game will be another Rockstar masterpiece. The parent company behind Rockstar, Take-Two Interactive, has issued takedown notices all over social media, from YouTube channels to Twitter, all over the place. So for obvious reasons, I can't show any of the leaked footage, and I wouldn't even want to at this point. But why is this leak such a big deal? Why is 50 minutes of a very unfinished game that's probably not going to come out for another half a decade so vital to the internet? Well, GTA V is one of the most popular games of all time. It came out in 2013 and still tops the charts on Steam as well as pretty much every console store. So GTA 6 has some pretty massive shoes to fill. In my opinion, it's likely to be the biggest game of all time, at least of this next decade. And when eventually it's released, I think this game is going to absolutely blow everyone away. But for now, we can't just sit here and pretend like this is going to be the final game. For all we know, this is early, early alpha and pretty much everything in this footage can change. The creative director of The Last of Us Part 2, Neil Druckmann, had this to say. To my fellow devs out there affected by the latest leak, know that while it feels overwhelming right now, it'll pass. One day we'll be playing your game, appreciating your craft, and the leaks will be relegated to a footnote on a Wikipedia page. Keep pushing, keep making art. I think it's incredibly important that other devs realize just how bad of news this is for Rockstar. This is probably the largest project they have ever worked on, with the largest budget they have ever given to a video game. It's clear that the hacker is just trying to sell this data back to Rockstar, but I doubt that they will even care at this point. After all, it's 50 minutes out of what could be an insanely complicated game, and odds are they showed less than 1% of what's going to be in the actual game. But that doesn't mean that they're in the clear. If the hacker has the source code, that means that there is a possibility of intrusions in the future, even when the game is out. And if there's an online setting with monetized purchases, I don't think I need to explain to you why that's such a big deal. But for now, this is like a Bigfoot sighting that no one can deny. This is possibly, and definitely, the largest hack of all time, the biggest video game leak that we will ever see in probably our life. Rockstar didn't even confirm that this GTA was in progress until this last February, and it still hasn't announced the game's title or release date. It's not necessarily that the game leaked, it's that the game leaked so early. This is like Mozart getting the first 20 seconds of his song caught on video and then posted all over the internet for everyone to see. 
you have a baby, a creature that you've created, that you've worked so hard for, and you can't wait to show the internet, but it's not ready yet. And that's why I feel so bad for Rockstar in this development. Long term, I don't think that this is going to have any serious repercussions for Rockstar, at least I hope not, and with how good Red Dead Redemption 2 was, I'm really looking forward to this next game. That's all for now, let me know what you want to see in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.